Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time joining us, my name is Louis and this is Total Nonstop Holidays. And today, I would love to show you what we bought to build a village for Valentine's Day. Now, of course, a lot of people build villages for Christmas and perhaps for Halloween as well, uh, but I wanted to start building villages for some of the other holidays like Easter, St. Patrick's Day, and Valentine's Day. So let's take a look at what we got so far. All right, so these very first items that we have here, I've got them in three different colors, pink, white, and then I've also got it in red. They're basically uh, the exact same type of house. They come from CVS. They're only $6, $5.99 a piece, um, and they're really cute, and they just have a, a battery-operated light, just like that. They just light up. Uh, pretty easy, pretty simple, and um, like I said, yeah, they come in three different colors here, and uh, not bad for uh, for six dollars. And uh, all three of these were at CVS. Actually, when I went into CVS, these were the last three that they had, so I uh, I bought them up. All right, so the next items that I have are all from Target. Now, none of these come with batteries or lights built in, but there are slots that you can actually put um, some sort of light in, like a tea light or something like that. Um, there's a slot here right in the back. So, I mean, I guess you could put in like a small LED or something, um, you know, or just leave it that way. If you don't want it to be lit up, there's no way that you can put anything there on the bottom. But uh, these little houses are really cute. And again, uh, we got these at Target. And uh, like I said, they're not pre-lit or anything like that. They're only $5 a piece, which is uh, a super deal. They're like a porcelain, uh, really, really cute. We actually got three of these uh, taller houses uh, just uh, to try to uh, fill in the village and make it a little bit bigger. Um, and then just one of the houses here with the, the pink rooftop. So uh, all these are really nice because they put hearts on them. Um, they're painted either like red or, or pink, very, uh, very Valentine's Day like. Uh, so these are, are really, really cute. The other thing uh, that we got at Target just to go along with this, which we thought was uh, really nice, is this little uh, Vespa here. Uh, and obviously, the scale is, uh, you know, not uh, correct, but that's okay. It's just a fun little village. I mean, you could really put this anywhere in the display, and I think it would just look really cute. Uh, maybe if you have a certain, like, figurine or something that would fit on here that could sit on the Vespa, I think that would also be really cute. Uh, this is also $5 as well. Uh, in fact, I think everything that we got at uh, Target was $5 a piece. Uh, we got this here, a little uh, coffee cup and a donut with smiley faces, uh, also $5, also from Target, uh, really cute. Um, we just thought it would be a nice little addition to the village. And then also <laughs> these two uh, as well, a uh, smiling uh, PB&J. Uh, so we'll find somewhere to put those um, in the village as well. And then lastly, just to sort of uh, kind of round it out, uh, this little set of four uh, is also $5 for the set, which is really nice. So there's there's two pink uh, trees and two red trees. So we'll you know, kind of disperse these out uh, you know, next to the houses. So, finally, we have the stuff that we bought at Hobby Lobby. Um, very similar to what we got at Target. Uh, we have this house here, and it's got the hearts uh, built into it. Uh, this one does come with a battery-operated light, and it looks just like that. This is really cute. Uh, kind of, you know, makes it uh, sort of a variety of houses, um, so we really like that. Uh, again, this is from Hobby Lobby. Now, uh, we got two of these from Hobby Lobby. Uh, they both, again, uh, light up, which 
just like that, the battery operated, little light in there. And of course these are really tiny compared to the other houses, but uh, it's nice to have a, a variation of scale uh, in the houses there. Uh, this is only $4.50 for each one, uh, which is really, really nice. Um, this we thought was really cute. Uh, this actually does uh, light up. Um, this is also uh, from Hobby Lobby as well. A little Cupid Express uh, letter carrier vehicle. Uh, and again, you know, it's obviously, you know, not to, not to scale. <laughs> I mean, certainly, you know, this is much bigger than these little houses, but you know, that's okay. This, this is just still, you know, really cute. Uh, this is uh, $6.99, so $7 for this. Uh, but that's, uh, that's really nice. And then the final piece, um, this one is $11.99, so $12, but certainly my favorite one is this. This is also from Hobby Lobby as well, and it is a glittery Valentine's Day house. I mean, this thing is just really cool. Um, just the way that it shines and, and shimmers and the light, uh, the detail on it is, is really cool. Uh, like I said, it is glittery. So, I mean, just by touching it, I've got glitter, you know, all over my fingers right now. It is battery operated as well. And that's what it looks like lit up. Really, really cute. Um, well worth the $12. They um, also have one at Hobby Lobby that's uh, exactly like this with a slightly different pattern in the front and it's uh, more of like a, a reddish kind of color to it where this one is, is more pink. This was the last one that they had and we went to two different stores and only one store had this one that was in stock. Uh, I'm almost very surprised that I was able to find it. It seems like it's a very popular item. Uh, and, I, and I can definitely see why. I mean, it's really cute. Uh, I was really hoping to find more of these. Like I said, we went to two different stores and uh, we can only find this one at the very first store that we went to. So I picked it up right away. I wasn't even gonna hesitate. Uh, we were just gonna take it. So this will be a nice sort of, I guess, uh, centerpiece or something um, to our houses. I did look online. Um, at Hobby Lobby's website, and they were all out of stock on this and the other one that's very similar to it. Uh, like I said, I can see why. And it's a really cool looking piece. It's very detailed and it's really cute. But just be prepared to uh, have glitter <laughs> all over your hands uh, just by touching this. There we go. That's what we got. Um, you know, we're kind of starting on small, obviously, with this. Uh, this is the first time we've ever done a village uh, for, for any holiday and um, doing one for Valentine's Day. Uh, so let's take a look and see what it looks like all put together. So hope you guys like that. Um, do you decorate for Valentine's Day and do Valentine's Day villages? I'd love to know. Uh, put a link down below. Uh, let me know what you do. Show me your videos. I'd love to see them. And uh, thanks so much for joining guys. We'll see you next time.